Hello and welcome to this section of the Chemistry Tutor. Uh, here we're finally going to start to get into a little bit of the math behind the ideas we covered in the last section. We're going to do several problems dealing with really calculating the concentration of these ions that are in solution. So remember, we have something, we add it to water, it dissociates, breaks down into these ions. These problems are going to be dealing with calculating the concentration of these ions in the solution. So the first question is written on the board here. What is the molarity of lithium ions in 0 .08, um, sorry, 0 0.0385 molar uh, lithium nitrate solution? So anytime you see something, a number, molar, lithium nitrate, this means this is a solution. We've mixed some lithium nitrate with water. We've got a concentration of lithium nitrate. The molar, the M, means moles per liter. Right? So this means that I have 0.0385 moles for every single liter of the solution that I have in my you know, chemistry cabinet or whatever. If this is unfamiliar to you, if you don't remember what molarity is or anything, then go back please and, and review that material in previous lessons because it's just going to make your life so much harder if you're not really familiar with those, those concepts. And we've covered them all before. Okay, so the question is, uh, we know the molarity of the solution, but we don't want to know that. We want to know what is the molarity, which means concentration, of the lithium ions in the solution. What's the concentration after it breaks apart? What's the concentration of the lithium ions in solution? So my advice uh, that I follow myself working these problems is first write down a little you know, chemical equation to kind of clear your head. So this is the lithium nitrate. We're going to add it to water, right? What happens when we add it to water? Well, it's going to split up. Now this is, is not sodium chloride. Remember we talked about sodium chloride. It splits into sodium and it splits into chlorine. Your first thought might be, well, this is going to split into lithium ions, nitrogen ions, and oxygen ions. But actually that's not true. This NO3 is a very stable ion called a nitrate ion. So what's going to actually happen is the lithium is going to split up into the lithium ion, okay, plus the NO3 is going to be kind of like one grouped unit together. It's going to be an, a negative ion with a negative one. So if you kind of go in reverse to back to chemistry one, the very first lessons we did, we said what happens when you combine lithium and the nitrate ion, and you said, well, lithium has a charge of plus one, nitrate has a charge of minus one, so we learned how to use that information to say it's going to form this. The exact reverse is happening. We stick it in water, it's going to split off into these kind of constituent ions. So, by the way, what's the cation and what's the anion? The negative ion is the anion. So, the, the nitrate ion is the anion. The lithium ion is the cation. Now, just like any other chemical equation, everything has to balance, all right? So, we make sure it balances. One lithium one lithium, one nitrogen, one nitrogen, three oxygens, three oxygens. So we haven't really violated anything. They're just splitting apart. Uh, but as far as the atoms that are present, everything is already accounted for. So this is already uh, a balanced reaction. It's not really a reaction, but a balanced dissociation. So in order to calculate, what we want to do know is what is the concentration of lithium ions in the solution? So you can set up a calculation just like anything else. We start with what we know. 0.0385 molar of this stuff. So the way we write it is 0 0.0385 molar means moles of lithium nitrate per one liter 